Hey everyone, I know it's been months, uh, three months I think, yeah, <laughs> um, wow, I have a lot to catch you up on, um, I'll try not to make this too long though, I'll give you just brief, I wrote it down so I could remember, alright, what's happened since the last time I made a video, my daughter got married, I told you that in my last video, um, let's see, in November, after the wedding in October, um, I took a trip to California. I went to uh, lots of different places in California. I, uh, I had a, it was a very healing experience for me. It was a spiritual trip for me. And uh, it was my first time going there and I came back a different person. Um, I had a lot of healing take place on a spiritual level and physically as well. I came back feeling different, looking different, it was amazing. The whole entire experience was amazing and I can't wait to go back. I'm looking forward to my next trip. My next trip out there is going to be in June and I'm going to go see the Redwoods. Um, the last trip I spent a lot of time by the ocean. And a lot of times, uh, a lot of that time was, yeah, most of it was by the ocean. Uh, and if I wasn't walking on the beach with my friend, I was near enough that I can hear the ocean and you just don't forget that sound and you don't forget that experience. I never will forget. So I'm extremely grateful that I got to go and I look forward to going back. Um, this next trip though I'm not sure I'll, I'll get to see the ocean much. If I do it'll be once and uh, that's okay. I'll be happy for that. Okay so besides that, um, let's see what happened. Uh, so I made my trip to California. I'm looking at my note here. Um, we had a we've had an interesting winter here where I live. Um, I normally don't talk about the weather other than how it affects my body, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but something happened uh, last month. Yeah, about a month ago, we had a lot of snow within uh, two days. Well, actually, a 24-hour time period, we got like I don't know, 14, 15, something like that, inches of snow in one day. And um, I decided that uh, I would put on my snow pants, which I haven't done in years, probably um, thinking of probably 10 years I haven't put those snow pants on. So it was uh, exciting that, I, that my snow pants fit me and uh, that I went out in the snow with my kids. And uh, then I decided I'd be real adventurous and I thought I would try to shovel the driveway. Well, I am pleased to say that I was able to shovel my driveway and the sidewalk and around my house for um, about an hour. And I gotta say, a year or two ago, I couldn't, I wouldn't have lasted more than 10 minutes. So, to me, being able to do something like that showed me that I've healed a whole lot more than I thought. Um, I mean, just, I didn't know I had that kind of strength in me. I didn't know I could do that um, and not fall over dead. Uh, I did get fussed at by my family. My son in particular, he took the shovels away from me when he realized what I'd been doing. <laughs> um, but I didn't hurt myself. I, uh, I had pain in my muscles, but you know, that's expected when you haven't been able to move your muscles like that in years. So, um, what a pleasant surprise for me that I was able to do something like that. I know it sounds silly to some people. Oh, doll, she can draw, shovel her driveway. No, it's a big deal to me. Very, very big deal to me. Because when you go from not being able to do anything, I mean, walking around the block was out of the question for me just a year or two ago, two years ago. Yeah, last year I could walk. Um, but, you know, to be able to go from that to shoveling my driveway and my sidewalks for an hour that's awesome so I had to share that good news with you alright so now back to the weather and how it affects my body lately it hasn't been so much the lupus messing with me and the fatigue so much as it has been the weather when it went from being really cold which we've had some really cold days here it went it started to switch to warmer days which the weather has been really weird. I mean, we're below zero one day and uh, 50 the next. I mean, it's crazy. So, um, 
How does that affect a body that's been sick for many years um, with lupus and fibromyalgia and other you know odds and ends I have? Well, I'll tell you. I've gone for a long time without any bad lupus flares, and like two weeks ago, when the weather started to change, it got warm, and I was okay, I was a little achy, and I thought, okay, I can deal with this, no big deal. Well, two storm fronts were coming through, so you know what that means, the air pressure changes. I didn't know about the storm fronts that were coming. I thought that my lupus remission was over. I started to hurt so bad. I mean, my spine from my neck all the way down to my tailbone hurt. And all out, it radiated out through my you know, my back. All my joints were hurting again. I thought, oh great, the lupus is killing me again. It's back and it's in full nasty force. Well, a friend of mine, thank God for my friends, um, pointed out to me that two big storms were coming through. And that it was probably that that was affecting me. And he was right because as soon as one storm came through I got some relief from the pain and then when the other storm came through I felt m even more relief so thank God I'm not back into the lupus flares 24 hours a day um, so it was just weather so the weather still affects my body in a really um, I don't want to say bad way it's just the way my body reacts to it I'm just very sensitive because my body's been sick for so long Hopefully that um, that's going to change because I believe strongly in my heart that I am healing and uh, one day this stuff isn't going to happen to me. Um, I do want to share with you before I I'm going to and then I'll be done with the video because I don't want it to be too long. Um, about I don't know I'll just say within the last month I'm sorry I can't remember what day it was but I was I've been cleaning spring cleaning my house and so I've been moving a lot I haven't been at my computer a lot that's why one reason I haven't made videos. Uh, when I feel better I'm up and moving well one day I was in the other room and I was digging through a bin just glad that I was able to do it happy I was doing it and suddenly I started to feel like a burning on my arms remember when I used to have those rashes here and here well they're nice and clean today clear happy um, well anyway I'm cleaning out this bin and I feel this burning sensation on my on the, on the bottom sides of my hand here my arm here and I look down and as I look at my arms, I'm not exaggerating, I saw the rash just spread from my wrist all the way down to my elbow. And on this hand in particular, it went all the way around to the top, like on my thumb and part of my, my hand here. And the first thought was, oh no, the lupus is at it again. And it was on the other arm too, it spread the same way, just not on top of my hand. And it hurt. I haven't had that rash in a long time and it hurt it burned and it, it was very sensitive to touch and yeah I mean the first thing I thought was oh no wh why is this happening because I'm doing so well and I just I was really upset about it so I want to tell you what I did and uh, for those of you who don't believe I'm sorry but it, it's true for me I called to my I called my friends a couple of my friends and I told them I was in I, was, I believe that these are attacks. I mean, whether it's lupus, demons, darkness, it doesn't matter what you call it. I know that my body was under attack. So I called some people and I said, please help and say some prayers. And I, I took a moment for myself and I went and prayed and I asked the angels uh, that I communicate with on a daily basis to please help me with healing and to get rid of whatever it was that was attacking me. And I am not exaggerating. I watched the rash go away within a couple hours. It was it was all it was not burning anymore. There were still some bumps there, but the uh, the burn and the very sensitive sensation went away. And today, I know it's been about a month since this happened, but today, I'm my arms are so smooth. I mean, I'm not used to that. It's been many many years since my skin felt smooth there was always if you couldn't see the bumps they were there I can feel them so miracle um, you call out to your friends and you call out to the angels and you and you have faith that they're gonna help and it works so I'm excited about that so I thought I'd share that with you um, okay videos getting too long I love you guys thank you for all the emails I'm sorry if I haven't answered um, 
if you have MySpace page, come to my MySpace page, and uh, I've got blogs there and pictures. You can come see how I'm doing. I'd love to have you, and uh, I'd love to join your page. Um, love and hug and blessings. Bye.